So in this section, we are going to be building this beautiful weather tracker application. So before I go into details of the things we are going to be covering in this particular section, I just want to show us how this app works. It's pretty simple, right? It just helps us to be able to track weather in a different location. Let's say, for instance, you possibly might want to know what the weather is like in Washington, D.C. or in New York. You can just go ahead and type in New York. It might be that you want to schedule a meeting in New York. You might actually want to check the weather first of all. Boom. So as you can see, we now have the weather of New York City in USA. So this is the current temperature in New York, 26.4 Celsius. And this is an image icon that describes the weather condition. And also this is a description of the weather condition, clear sky. And this is the name of the city, New York, and of course the country code US. You can also go ahead and search for all the cities, say somewhere in Lagos. So you can go ahead and check the weather. So in Lagos currently there is light rain and the temperature is 26 degrees Celsius. And of course we can see the image just changed to a different image description of the current weather condition in Lagos. So to be able to build this beautiful app that we're seeing on our screen, there's a lot of things that we are going to be learning. We're going to be learning about API, which stands for Application Programming Interface, and how we can implement it. And also, we're going to be introduced to Asynchronous Programming, that's Async Await, how you can do things in background. So it could be that you've always wanted to build a web application for yourself. So this course will actually show you exactly how to do all of that. I know you're really excited, so I will see you in the next lesson and we get started.